Okay, baby. Today's lesson. Yeah. We'll, I'll read this book to you later, okay? Just right now, let's focus on the details. Little bit of information you need. Study of stars is called A, A, close, A, S, S, T, A, S, T, astronomy. A, uh, let's try it. See, you have to sound it out a little bit. See, this is what the study of stars is called. Actually, it comes from a Greek word. The Greek word is astro. Greek is a language. You know, the language we speak is English, right? There's another language called Greek, and the study is called astro, which is? It means star. What's a Greek word for star? A. S. Yeah, A S. S T. A S T. No, A S T R. A S T R. You need to focus, baby. Okay. I know this is really easy for you. Okay. I need you to focus. I don't want to be dreaming. Pay attention. Pay attention. So. Today we are going to cover this subject called astronomy. Okay, look at this. No, look. A S T R O N O M Y. See this? What are we going to study? What? Astronomy. What are we going to study today? A S T A S T one letter. A S T R. Astronomy, astro, astronomy. How to spell nomi? N, n, o, astronomy. M, what? That's right. So astronomy it comes from the Greek word astros, a s t r o s, which means star. So what does astros mean? S t a r. Yeah. So, the Greek word astro means star. So, can you guess what astronomy means? The study of what? Astro means star. So, astronomy means the study of what? The study of S, S, you're close, one letter. S, T, A, S, T, A, think, 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 you got to think. S, T, A, one letter of R, S, that's right. So, the study of stars. So, um, when you look, when you go out to, uh, in this, to watch the sky at night, first of all, there's a super easy question is just to get your attention because it seems you're a little distracted, okay? So, touch B, touch X, touch J, touch P. Okay, so what's the color of the sky at night? Night. What is the color of the sky at night? B. No, what's the color? B. B, B, what was the color of the star, uh, sky at night? B, you already got B. What's next? What's the color of the sky at night? Hmm. B, A, think. This is too easy for you. You know this answer. Come on. The color of the star at night is B. The color of the sky at night is B. L, A, C. That's right. The color of the sky at night is black. Now, when you go out at night and you look into the sky, Name something that you see at night. You're going out, you're going outside, you look up at the sky. What do you see? Give me something that you see. No, not what? I'm not asking you to repeat questions. Give me the answer. Okay? So what do you see? You go out to uh, at night to look at the sky and what do you see? T O E. Toei is not a word. No, you have to give me a I'll give you a hint. It starts with M. Yay. What do you see at night in the sky that starts with M? M. Yeah. One letter of M-O-O. -O. 
M O O. What do you see in the sky? Not a moat. Rahul, you need to listen to me. Don't give me random answers. Okay? You need to focus. So at night, when you go out and you look at the sky, what do you see that starts with M O O? Come on, do it. M O O. M O O what? M O O. Think, 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 think. N exactly. Moon. What's the other thing you see? You see the moon. What else do you see? S S T mm. A. S T A R. Stars. Not stare. Stars. Okay. So you see the moon and the stars, right? So, um, the, you see a few, the hundreds of stars you see in the sky, there's actually billions more stars. Do you know how many zeros are in a billion? There are nine zeros in a billion. Look at this. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine billions more stars in the sky. So really, there's only a small part we see because we're such a small part of the planet, right? Of the world. Right? So, um, a group of stars is called a galaxy. A group of stars is called a so what is a group of stars called? A group of stars is called a G G A thing. L G A L Gal think. A Gale one letter. No, G A L A X Y. That's right. So a group of stars is called a Galaxy and the name of the galaxy that we live in is called the Milky Way Galaxy. So it's called the Milky Way Galaxy. So what's the name of our galaxy? The galaxy that we live in. It's called the M I M I one letter L Milk M I L K Milk E M I no Milky M I L K Y Milky Milky, what? W, W, A, one letter. The Milky Way galaxy, right? So that's the name of our galaxy, right? You know that there's one star that's really hot that you know. It rises in the morning and sets in the evening. And we watch the sunset at the beach. So what is the name of that star that rises in the morning, gives lots of light, What's the name of that star? That star is what? S B A E C H. The beach, yeah, that's B E E C H. But what do you see? The what is that big fireball in the sky? That is a star that you see that gives a lot of heat to our world. What is it? That's the S S S what? S U yeah, good, good. One letter. S U N. That's right. So it's the sun, right? So the sun is a really big star. And we're part of this Milky Way galaxy, right? So the closest galaxy to us is called Andromeda. A N D R O M E D A. So look at this. I'll show you this. This is what our galaxy looks like. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Sit down straight. Why are you getting a stress down? Put your toes down. Look at that. That's what the Milky Way galaxy is. One good big corner. That's where the Earth and all the planets are. The sun and all that. The Milky Way galaxy is made up of a bunch of different suns and other stars and planets all that. That's what our Milky Way galaxy looks like. And a small part of it is um, our planet and our solar system. So... You want to see the sun more? Here you can see the sun more. Um, so the Andromeda galaxy is another galaxy, another group of stars that's the closest. But when we say closest, it doesn't mean it's right next to us. It means of all the galaxies, that's the closest. But it's Yay! very, very, very far away. Very far away. What is the Andromeda galaxy? It's very V E. R very F A. Oh, that's it. It's very far. It is 
uh, 2 million light years away. And I'll explain what that means. 2 million means 6 zeros. 2 million light years away. You know what is a light year? A light year is the amount of time it takes a light year. It's the amount of distance light would travel in one year. It's a huge long distance because if you switch on the bulb, look at this. You have, a, you have your room over here, right? And we're sitting here. This is Rahul sitting on this chair like this. Okay? And there's the switch. Right? You got it. So this is the switch, right? And there's the bulb. And you switch on the switch. As soon as you hit the switch, immediately the whole room gets flooded with light. That means, does light travel fast or does light travel slow? What do you think? L I G H G light F A S F A S T that's right. So light travels like crazy fast. So can you imagine if it is two million light years away means it would take two light to travel for two million years before it reaches Andromeda. So it's like crazy far away. So that whole entire area, the stuff that's on our planet and even beyond it, all that is called the universe. So all these planets, all that, that's called the universe. So this collection of stars and space and all that, what's it called? It's called the U, the set of galaxies, all that U, U-N-I, not U-N-I, U -N -I, U -N -I, one letter of Univ. Universe, E-R-S, universe, E, universe, okay. So that's called the universe, right? So, um, now, the universe is actually getting bigger and bigger. This whole thing is expanding slowly. So they're like, how did all of this start? Okay, so we don't know. We weren't alive. This was like billions of years ago, right? So like, how did all of this start? So people can guess, right? When people try to guess about something that really happened, small, small. It's called a theory. T H E O R Y. So when people try to guess what actually happened, even though they weren't there, it's called a T H E O R Y. That's it. So it's called a theory. So the theory about how the world and all of this came into being is called the Big Bang Theory. What is that theory? The B I G Big Bang B A N Big Bang Theory T Swallow T H T T H Theory E T H E T H E Too close Theory T H E O T H E O R What that's all. So that's called the Big Bang Theory. And what the Big Bang Theory is, they thought. In the beginning, very early on, there's a huge, big mass, like very dense, huge, big mass. And suddenly there was a big bang, there's an explosion, everything scattered away and made all these little, little, teeny, tiny parts of things and those became planets. Um, now, we have nine planets that's part of our solar system. So how many planets do we have in our solar system? Nine, exactly. But actually, initially we thought it was nine. I've shown you this many times, right? You know all our planets. What is the name? Look, look, you know you've seen this many times. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, right? Those are, and Pluto, they used to think was a planet, right? What's the name of our planet? What planet do we live on? The planet we live on is E. E, sit straight. The planet we live on, E, A, R, T, A, R, T, H. That's right. So, Earth is the planet we live on, right? So, initially we thought there was nine planets, right? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Sun, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. But, in the year 2006, in the year 2006, they decided Pluto is too small to be a planet. So which year did they decide Pluto was too small to be a planet? Two, zero, zero, six. So in the 2006 they decided Pluto was too small 
So it's called the dwarf planet. It's very small. D W A R F planet. K. Before it was called dwarf planet. What was Pluto called when they still thought it was a planet? It was called a. It was called a D. D. D come on, D. W. A. D W A. R. D W A R dwarf. That's right, dwarf. It's called a dwarf planet, right? But now Pluto is no longer a planet, right? So now, okay, when Pluto was a planet, there were nine planets. Now that Pluto is not a planet, how many planets are there? Right? Pluto not a planet, how many planets will we have? Three. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. So with Pluto it was nine, so it's one less, right? So it would be nine minus one, right? So what's nine minus one? Nine minus one is nine minus one equals eight. <coughs> so now there are eight planets. So now um, all of these planets they orbit around the sun. Okay, so orbit means they go around the sun following the same path. So for example, let's draw it over here. So this is your sun, right? So Mercury goes like this. Okay. So Mercury, when it goes, it keeps rotating around the sun and it goes like this, like this, like this. The same way. It doesn't go this way one time and that way one time and this way. Then. It goes in the exact same route around the sun. That's called an orbit. That's called an orbit. Okay? So what is that called? It goes around the same way. What is that path called? O R or you left out a letter. Or B. Or Y. Or Y. Or I. T. That's right. So it's the orbit. Okay? And one more interesting part is look at this. Between Jupiter and Mars, you see all of these the rocks? They are called the no, the rocks, these big rocks in space, they call asteroids. So rocks in the space are called asteroids. So what are rocks in space called? Rocks in space are called A. Asteroids. A S. A C. So look at this. They're called Rocks in space are called asteroid. That's what rocks in space are called. So what are rocks in space called, honey? They're called A S T Asteroid. Asteroid. R O R O I D. That's right. So asteroids are what are called rocks in space and there's something called an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Means a lot of rocks that are also orbiting around the sun in that same orbit. Lots and lots and lots of rocks. So how do we know all of this? If we're so far away, we look in the sky, all we see is stars. How do we know all of this? So the way we know all of this is, scientists, they use things called telescopes. Now, I've told you in the past what telescopes are, right? So, what are telescopes used for? They're used to see things that are... Telescopes are used to see things that are... F. Telescopes are used to see things that are... F. 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 A. You're close. Far. Far. F, far. A. Far. A. Uh, yeah, good, good. Oh, wait, up. Uh, far, A, W, A, W, A, away, yeah, A, W, A, Y, that's right. So, telescopes are used to see things that are far away. And so, um, and um, to see things that are a lot closer, we can use like what's called a magnifying lens or something like that, but, yeah. Now, a place where 
they can see, look at this, this one, big telescope, you see that? And this is where they would see it from. So sometimes, look at this, this is called an observatory, observatory. So observatory sometimes we see, observatory, meaning you're looking to observe means to look, okay? So observe means to look. So what's another word for look? Ah, good. O, B, O, B, S, E, observe, R, observe, V, E. That's right. So it's called an observatory. And inside there, there'll be like this huge telescope. Look at that. Another word is planetarium. Another word for something is a planetarium. Look at that huge telescope over there in that observatory. You see that line slit over there? Look at the slit. Over there, that's where the telescope is as well. They can look outside. Now, sometimes we even launch telescopes into space. How cool is that? Where do we launch telescopes into? L O Oh, no, no, we, where do we launch? We launch it out into where? S, 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 P, think, S, P, A, S, P, A, not spaz, S, P, A, S, P, A, see, sometimes we launch it out into outer space, S, P, A, C, E, so we launch it into outer, S, P, A, C, E. Okay, that's right. So that finishes up today's lesson. But I have a question for you. Okay? So the question I have for you is this. What do you want for the next step? What should we learn next step? So what would you like to learn next step? This was a lesson in astronomy. So do you want another lesson in astronomy? I feel like you enjoy history. Yesterday we learned about history, right? Or do you want a lesson in history? Or do you just want like a story? Like Not by people, all of those things. Oh, so tell me. Some story. It doesn't have to be a people, but some story. So what do you want? Next time, tomorrow, what lesson do you want? Sit up straight. Tomorrow. Okay, you have to see which one you want. Okay. What lesson do you want? Do you want tomorrow lesson? Do you want astronomy, story, or history? What lesson do you want? Which, which one do you want? Which one do you want? Tell me. Point. You want a story? Okay. So story. Okay. And you have a. You're done, baby. You can go. The other two want to come play. Okay. What?